Hello traders out there in trader land, D7 here with Grok a trade, and I'm doing this video on Easter Sunday. That's why I'm wearing the tie and everything. And wearing like Easter colors. <laughs> So anyway, um, guys, Friday, big time bullish move across the board. Everybody up, 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 up. Silver up 2%, gold higher than 1%, and just a nice move. Bitcoin at 58,000. Uh, anyway, Ethereum over 2,000. I hold a ton of Ethereum, guys. But let's take a look here. What's really important for my last video is this. Did we and could we break over that trend line? The answer is we could, and we did. This is the spider, S&P 500, and this dude did quite well on decent volume. Really, really nice pop after a little bullish pennant right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Pops up. But if I look over here at the weekly chart on the spider, we're bouncing off the support, we're going higher, but we have major support right here, major support. And you guys do know that I said it was so important for us to stay the last three days of March needed to stay bullish, and it did. We broke this trend line. That is a good move. I expect to see more upside movement in the markets as a whole. So let's go back to the daily charts. Diamonds, building a high base, look for more upside, all-time high type areas. NASDAQ had a nice rally Thursday and Friday. It took breaking above this, but remember how I said it's like this bull flag? This is more bullish and is bearish. Sure enough, there was the breakout Thursday and Friday. Go back to that video. Just watch like the last video compared to this video and just see what has taken place. Technical analysis isn't tea leaves. It's, it works. You need to learn technical analysis. My issue here, small caps, rising wedge, we broke down below the lower support line. We rally back higher with a bear pullback into moving averages. And we are approaching a line that should act as resistance. And we're going up on dissipating volume. Small caps concerns me. Small caps can lead the charge to the downside. They could do that. So this is suspect, and I am watching this quite closely. If you look here at financials, we did bounce off of this support. We need to rally strongly to the upside to get to this area of resistance. We need to release off the floor. It tried to release back here a week or so ago, but it immediately got drugged back, dragged back down to this lower trend line, which is acting as a, a gravity spot. We need to release away from this, break this swing high on financials, and keep going higher. Keep going higher. U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar remains in this rising wedge that's more bearish and is bullish. Let's see what this 50-day or 200-day moving average will have in store. Sometimes I'll go back in time to see if this has acted as resistance or support. Resistance there, kind of support, nothing there. Yeah, you can see this. So the 200 does is something that it it respects. We got up there to the 200 day moving average. It does pull back. We need to get above that moving average in this trend line for this to remain bullish on the US dollar. But we need it to drop for it to help the markets out. If you look here at silver, silver might be putting in a V bottom. I, we won't know that until we get past this trend line and the 20 day moving average. Let's see what happens. Gold did break out of these trend lines. That was so important that it did this because Wednesday it came down. We had major support. We broke it, but it came back and healed itself immediately. There's your double bottom. You go down, up, down, and then up. This could be putting in a low. But I'm not 100% sold on that because I don't see capitulation or massive volume taking place here. So it's anyone's guess on gold or silver if we're going to see continuation there. The VIX, it's been a long time, guys, since we've been at 17 range. Um, it's So last time we were even in this range was 
just prior to the, um, I mean, this this is pre-pandemic times. Uh, so, I mean, just to put it in perspective, that's what we're looking at here. That's what we're looking at here. So that we're back down there. There's no fear out here in the marketplace, guys. That's what the VIX is, volatility index. Quick look here. Bitcoin dropped. We came up. That trend line acted as resistance. Remember we said support, support, support broken should act as resistance. We got there and it's starting to pull back a little bit. So it's just something that we're watching. And quick look here at ETH. Um, so... We rallied up. This is Ethereum. We rallied up, 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 it's building a pennant, but we're under some stress at this moment. And a quick, quick look at tech stocks. If you go over here and AMD, nice double bottom, rallying higher. This could be putting in a low. Look for that to maybe go higher. Amazon is that major resistance. Be careful. That could be a sell area to sell short that. Let's see, Google, it's up 3%. Major breakout, guys, looking really good on good volume. We're at an area of resistance. Let's see what it does with that. MU, Micron, rallied, rallied, had earnings, went right up to the trend line, and people sold into that. That's smart money right there. They know where these trend lines are. You got to know where these are. Touched it, came right back down. Usually it will come down, fill the gap, and let's see it, it's on the wrong side of these trend lines. It needs to get above that to be of interest to me. Netflix is up, 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 but major resistance overhead. NVIDIA has had a great week. Up, 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 up. But it's anybody's guess. We're just we're in a bad area. We, we took some damage the last few weeks. Um, Shopify is really taking a lot of damage. This is just pulled back. It's chopping, chopping to stay away from Snap. Took a ton of damage. It's trying to rally back. Stay away from that. And um, Tesla is bouncing off of support. So support here at Bounce. We this week we came off that support again, but it's no time to be buying Tesla. And Twitter came down here to the support line, found support and bounce, but I'd be looking to short Twitter. So there you have it. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Um, in my eyes or in the video, normally I come in with a lot more energy, and I do have a lot of energy. And I, I have to be reserved on what I can and can't share. But I, I am starting for the first time in my life a hedge fund. I'm moving my family from Indianapolis to Tampa, Florida to start this hedge fund. So it's not up and running yet. It's it's almost up and running. It's all it will be at some point. And I have an office, we have a place we're going to be staying and um, and I have been I just burning the candle at both ends, burning the midnight oil. I've been getting less sleep than normal launching a business. Space shuttle or rocket nowadays, <laughs> the lift up off the ground, they say it takes roughly 80% of the fuel just to get it up off the ground. Starting a business is much of the same way. So um, I'm not disclosing the name of the fund because I it can't be solicited and I, I can't solicit because we can only work with accredited investors and I don't want to, I can't share any of that stuff. So, but I did, I, because you guys have been with me forever, and m many of you have, I just thought, I just want to be, you know, open and transparent with you and what's going on, what we're doing, and our excitement level. My wife and I and my two girls, we're really excited about this move. I developed a trading algorithm that has the IRA in, in individual retirement account, uh, you know what, I, I, I need to not disclose these things. So I'm going to reserve myself. Um, I just, I build a trading algorithm and we're really happy with it. That's all. <laughs> That's all. And the regulations here in the United States are really strict on what you can and can't say publicly. And I think we're overregulated. I think we're overregulated. But um, the questions have been coming in. What's going to happen with Grok Trade? And here's what's going to happen with Grok Trade. 
It's going to thrive, and it's going to thrive under my leadership. And we have a great team. I think there's 11 of us, 14 of us. Good night. I, I think there's 11 of us and on the team. And it's a great team. And we are hitting on all cylinders. We're getting ready to expand our awareness to markets that don't know anything about Grok Trade. As you guys know, we don't market. You'll ne you won't see ads for us out there. You won't see, if you go to Facebook, you're not gonna see ads or so any social media. You're not gonna go to Google and see ads from us. People find us. It's amazing the caliber of people that come to our system that find us for education. And you guys kind of, you stumble across our videos, you do your research, you go to Grok Trade, mentor reviews you look up at all the reviews and you're like holy smoke all right i'm in so um but we are we're going to a whole new level with grok trade actually a whole new level uh with the um, addition of romulus and the tried and true and the anchor of mark the meerkat i mean i just could not be more blessed with the team that I have and everything with Keisha Grok Girl and uh, Carolina and Luis and John and John and Mike and another John. There's three Johns on my team. <laughs> Literally three Johns on my team. And, um, and we have Andrew. We have, I know I'm forgetting people. Good night. Sorry. I, uh, who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting a several of you guys right now. Um, so, um, my wife, Janelle, and I know I'm going brain dead. There's others, but we have just a, a just a fantastic, marvelous team. Um, oh, and Brad, Brad and, um, Emery, uh, Carla, man, we got to, yeah, holy smoke. So shout out to all of you guys. <laughs> but we're small potatoes, uh, small potatoes. We're traders first, educators second. That's why you don't see marketing from us. Do you know we only give up three days out of 30? We only give up 10% of our time to educate. <laughs> A lot of people think that we just educate. <laughs> we only do it three days a month. That's funny. We are, yeah. I couldn't pay these guys enough just to educate nonstop because it it doesn't education doesn't pay like trading does, right? <laughs> you gotta trading pays the bills. So anyway, I'm just rambling. But if you see it in my eyes, it's just every day I've been working for the last three weeks, and I mean at the grind working. And one of our um, students, who's an investor, came on. And first name, Rashank. Thank you for locking arms with me to help make this hedge fund a massive success and for us to start strongly. And we are starting really strongly. I can't believe how many funds have come in and pre-launch it's unbelievable so anyway i think i gave a lot of kudos to everybody i don't know about my frequency of videos if they will stay every weekend or not it, 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 that is we'll see we have great support with romulus and mark to come in to do videos and um so i don't know i, I i'll try to keep them going each weekend I just don't know what the future holds when it comes to that. But I do know this, starting as early as next weekend, which I'll be traveling, so I'll probably have somebody stand in for me next weekend. But the weekend after, I should be in my new office, which is downtown Tampa. I'm in a high rise there. It has a beautiful, beautiful view. And so I, I'm excited about that. It's it's uh it'd be the best most in it'd be a great office the best office i will ever had so that's it thanks for hanging out with me 
and you guys don't know this, but every time you do a, like a like or a subscribe, just a simple like, just you clicking the like button, believe it or not, helps us. It boosts our video. The more people that like and or comment, it's like you gave us a small gift and it's not lost on me. That small gift is we get more viewers because you liked it or you engaged with it or you shared it. Kind of in that order. Um, the best is sharing. The second is leaving a comment. Third is a simple like. And anyway, that's appreciated. <laughs> appreciated. <laughs> so you guys are amazing people. And it's so funny because a lot of the investors we have coming in have been, um, they, they're accredited investors and they've been watching me forever, but not jumped into the mentoring yet or any of our products. And all of a sudden they'll tell me they've been watching me 10 years. I had one, uh, a doctor out of California saying, you know, he's been with me almost 14 years and he says, I'd watched you grow up, Des. <laughs> I'd watched your kids grow up. That's crazy. And never had the chance to meet you guys. And I'll, chances are I'll never have the chance to meet you. I hope I do. If you're a follower, you live in or near or visiting Tampa, man, contact the office and swing by. Say hi. Um, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. If you are a student of ours, a mentee student, um, what do you guys think about maybe doing a mentorship in Tampa? We'll do it in Tampa at my place. And you guys have already been through the program. You can do your retakes. Come in and we'll find out how big of a conference room we can get and do a live mentoring. There's nothing better than that. We've we've been doing Zoom mentorships well before they were cool. Before anybody knew who Zoom was, <laughs> we were using Zoom. Before Zoom, we were using GoToWebinar and GoToMeeting. And now we jumped into Zoom, really liked it. And a couple years later, everyone knows about Zoom. But there's something magical about being in person. Zooms are fine. They get the job done and it keeps expenses really low. So those are pluses, checkbox all the way across. But when it comes to the, con the energy, the connection, the chemistry of connecting in real time in the same office together, that's awesome. If you guys, if you guys are thinking about mentoring and you happen to call, talk with John, just say, John, the thing I'm most interested in is flying to Tampa. I mean, you got extra costs. You, you got to fly there. You got your hotel, rental car. So you have extra costs being there, but it's Tampa. Make it a vacation, write it off. Hmm. Sounds good to me. We usually go to Vegas, but I moved my office out of Vegas. And I'm done with Vegas. Been there 30 plus times. Let's, let's, all of us come, but it was centrally located. You know, it's, it's a place that everybody can get to fairly easily easily but for the east coast people i think you'll appreciate a direct flight from wherever you're at <laughs> to tampa it's an international airport i cannot believe i'm still rambling and what i can't believe more is that you're still listening why are you still listening <laughs> anyway so here's the deal if you made it this far all i want you to do is say made it and let me know how long you've been watching and where you're from. Say, so made it. Two years, Chicago. A lot of you guys are from California. I can't believe how many followers I get from California. So many from California. I should do, I, man, if I had an office in California, because I'm, I want to do a hedge fund in just cryptocurrency. So I've got one hedge fund that's algo driven. I'll have another hedge fund that is cryptocurrency driven. Maybe do that out in California. I don't, would hate to fly from East Coast to, I don't know, even know how far of a flight that is. How far of a flight is it from Florida to Los Angeles or wherever? Anyway, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>